You have to share an environment with not lions, but hyenas. And I'm going to tell you a disturbing fact that may not, that may ruin your perception about hyenas. Hyenas eat bones. They eat bones to the fact, to the point where their poop often, oftenly comes out white. White. Their poop comes out white, which is disgusting. They eat everything from hooves, from hooves to bones to just disgusting. You have to share an environment with the stealthiest big cat of them all, the the leopard, who is by who is by far the sneakiest of all big cats. If you can't see it in this picture, you're dead. Not the tree branches, and not all the leaves on the tree. But do you see that yellowish orange figure? Yeah, that's a leopard. Leopard is ri literally right there climbing the tree. If you can't already see it. Leopards are sneaky predators. Leopards have the strength to literally pull their prey up the tree. Even though the prey can weigh more than the leopards itself. Leopards might not be the biggest or strongest of the big cats. But they are by far, by far the most stealthiest. And they have to live in an environment where, where predators constantly steal their meal. Kind of like cheetahs. Although I think a leopard can defend its meal from a hyena or a wild dog. Maybe something like a lion can underestimate a leopard. But I know but I know a human can. Like just imagine having to live in an just imagine having to live in an, in an environment where, where apex predators try to steal your prey. I don't think leopards are apex predators. Because in India, a tiger can kill them. In Africa, hyenas and spotted dogs can kill them. But I think a hyena could put up a good... But I think a leopard could put up a fight against a hyena or an African wild dog. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. <sighs> Of me way. What, what, what are you doing? What do you want from me? <laughs> I don't want anything from you. <laughs> Ow, why would you do that? You're so ungrateful. Well, why are you here? Um, to steal your meal. You're not gonna steal. Oh, give me all the meat. <sighs> give me, give me all the delicious meat up in here. <laughs> mm. Mm, so delicious. I'm gonna get you! I will bleed them. <clears throat> Quit eating! Quit eating my mate! Get off of her! Get off of her! Mm, mm, her bones, so delicious. You're a psychopath. If you don't get off of her, I'll, I'll, I will, I will pierce my canines into your head like a jaguar. You're not a jaguar. I mean, I am so much bigger than you. That doesn't matter. Bigger doesn't mean stronger. Yes, it does. That doesn't scare me. Oh, that's so a fierce of you sound like a little tiny house cat. Can you just give me mercy and let my mate go? Okay, I will. Okay, then do it. Then get the freak out of my face. I'm never gonna let your mate go. I'm gonna eat her until there's no more left. <laughs> yeah, a lion, yeah, a leopard would get destroyed by a lion. But something like a hyena or a wild dog, yeah, a leopard can kill a hyena and a wild dog. But... Uh, but when confronted to a leopard, when confronted to a lion, the leopard always flees. But I do have to give them credit for being much faster than lions. Cheetahs might literally be one of the weakest big cats, big cats out there. In this video, we observe a cheetah that was trying to hunt a warthog, but the warthog had something else on its mind. Mind when it rammed into the cheetah with its sharp tusk. You can see the cheetah was visibly in pain was visibly in pain after it had been rammed by the much smaller creature. There have been many reports of both cheetah and leopard succumbing some some coming to the sharp to the sharp tusk of warthog. But eventually the cheetah catches up with the warthog and eats the poor warthog alive. 
and there's both cheetahs doing the deed. They eventually suffocate the warthog, and the ho and the warthog can't even resist. It keeps on trying to it keeps on trying to wiggle its way out of the mouth mouths of the big cats. It keeps on. The cheetahs are built for speed and not much else. They are thin, delicate things. They can't even fight off vultures, birds. If all things, if all things, if they decide to steal the cheetah's prey, cheetahs, cheetahs are usually suspicious, and when they're suspicious, they don't usually hunt. Cheetahs can be recognized by the fact that they're spotted, their long, rudder-like tail, and the black spots extended from their eyes. The black spots. The black, I mean, tear marks help reduce the glare of the sun. Cheetahs are diurnal, unlike other big cats who are nocturnal and hunt during the night because they have killer eye. Because they have killer eyesight that humans don't have. Their eyes are their flashlights. In this video, we have some cheetahs and we have some cheetah. We have this cheetah and this leopard who was duking it out. Obvious, it's clear that the cheetah has the advantage because the leopard just scurries away. It's not wanting to fight the other. It's not wanting to fight the other weaker big cat. Yeah, cheetahs are weak when compared to leopards, lions, tigers, or jaguars. They aren't built for speed. I mean, they are built for speed. They're not built for duking it out or running. The reason I said they're not built for running is because they can't even maintain their incredible speeds for long. So eventually a cheetah is gonna get tired. There are some birds that are faster than cheetahs, like the peregrine falcon, and a whole other, and a whole other lot of birds that are faster than cheetahs are. In this video, we observe a leopard that is trying to stalk a cheetah. Obviously, cheetahs are much faster than leopards. Leopards can only run half the speed of a cheetah, about 40 miles per hour. In this video, the sneaky leopard is hiding behind a tree branch. Hiding behind a tree. The leopard is the stealthiest of all big cats and even has the strength to pull up to pull their victims up the tree, even though the victim can be heavier than the leopard's it's, than the leopard itself. So the sneaky leopard was was hiding behind the tree and it started and it started chasing the cheetah. The cheetah is of course way much way much faster than the leopard. Although cheetahs are faster, that doesn't necessarily necessarily mean they're stronger. Leopards are much stronger than cheetahs. Cheetahs are built for a quick burst of speed. That's why when conflict when conflicts begin, they simply just flee. They don't even stay to fight to to protect their young, their offspring. They don't even fight to protect their offspring or to defend their meal or themselves. In this video, we have a hyena who decided to provoke the rather, the cat built for speed rather than fighting it out or duking it out. The hyena continued to harass and try to provoke the cheetah. And yes, if you ask who went in the fight between a cheetah and the, a cheetah and a hyena, the hyena would win the fight. Hyenas are also larger than cheetahs. The cheetah would, Good a would good a bit fight would do a good fight, but the hyena would take the cheetah down. In this video, after the cheetah literally got up, the hyena knew it needed to run for its life. F life. The hyena, I mean, the cheetah was like showed its teeth like. <sighs> Obviously, cheetahs can't roar because they're more related to your modern day domestic cats than they are to lions like than they are to lions, leopards and jaguars and tigers. So a cheetah is no match for a hyena. A hyena can desecrate a cheetah. Just remember the more and more we encroach on cheetah's territory, the more and more it's more likely they will attack us, even though they're timid. Plus we're bipedal. That would deter a cheetah from attacking us. But even Timid animals can be dangerous, and I wouldn't be surprised if one day cheetahs started hunting humans. I mean, pretty much, it seems like all big cats can hunt us. Lions, tigers, well, jaguars typically don't hunt us because they already have a wide supply of prey to choose from. Like they have caiman that they can kill by piercing, by piercing the caiman's head. Yeah, this is this is caiman abuse, crocodile abuse. Get this, get this. A cheetah can kill a jaguar if it managed to.
bite the jaguar's neck for a quick victory, but they often suffocate their prey, and a jaguar has enough t has enough tendency to ruthlessly claw the other cat. They have caiman to choose from, which they kill by just piercing piercing the skull of the caiman. Then it's then all its armor armor becomes defenseless and it's dragged back into water. They can also choose to hunt the world's largest rodent, even bigger than beaver, even bigger than beavers, the capybara. The capybara is a semi-aquatic rodent native to South America, although some live in Florida. Naturally, capybaras are naturally threatened by predators like caimans, anacondas, and yes, jaguars. And a jaguar can kill and eat this rodent. Capybaras are tailless creatures. They don't have tail. In fact, they look more like a giant guinea pig because guinea pigs are the capybara's closest relative out of all rodents, out of squirrels, beavers, muskrats, rats, mice, and hamsters. And they are herbivores. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know if guinea pigs are herbivores. I might consume, I might assume they're omnivores because some because some rodents are omnivores, like squirrels, hamsters. The only herbivorous rodents are the capybara and the beaver. And gophers. And I'm not sure if rock caves. I'm pretty sure they're herbivores. Not only are they related to guinea pigs, they're also related to rock caves. And get this, fun fact, they don't taste like chicken. They taste like pork. And no, I would never eat an animal this cute. Like, who who would even eat capybaras? Like, they're so adorable. Keep them as pets. Do not eat them. Capybaras were once thought to be fish because they spent their entire days in water. And get this, females are slightly bigger and larger than males. So males will fight with one another so they can get access to female. so females. Females give birth to a single a single um, pup. I don't know what a baby capybara is called. To a single baby rodent. We're just going to say baby. She gives birth to a single baby. To a single baby. And capybaras are herbivores. And they eat mostly grass. And vegetation. And, and underwater vegetation. Capybaras only have. Capybaras only have to worry about. Caimans, anacondas. And jaguars. And humans. Because we persist on eating them also the jaguar only has one enemy that's the giant anteater because they have pair of, they have a pair of claws that can yes kill even the real king of the jungle and i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you in the next one bye